I know you're probably frustrated with, with the way things went Saturday. Was it important for you to get one to, to drop early and kind of clear your head? Uh, yeah, you know, I have the same preparation for every single game. Um, go into every single game the same way. Um, obviously, it was disappointing to lose that game and frustrating. We all wanted that one, but it was, you know, in a 30-game season, you, you got to quickly move on. And we had two days to get ready for, for Brian. So, um, like I said, just prepare the same for every game. There's been talk for years of shootout hangover. Did it feel like that maybe in the first half a little bit, trying to refocus? It looked sloppy, kind of. Yeah, you know, um, we knew coming in their style of play was a bit interesting. Um, we like to get up and down and run, and they play a, a more kind of controlled pace and, you know, turnovers and sloppy play. That's kind of just – they just have a weird style. So we knew going into the game that that kind of stuff was going to happen. You just had to respond. You just had to, you know, keep coming with the next play. So at halftime, you know, we re, we, we regrouped, sorry, and, uh, you know, I thought we did a much better job of just – handling the chaotic nature of the game in the second half. Aziz, four blocks, 17 rebounds. Did you feel like you could kind of impose your will on the defensive end in this matchup tonight? Uh, yeah, yeah. I feel like I tried to do everything I can to try to respond. Like, like the first half wasn't really that good. So the second half, I tried to give everything I have for the team. So we got a good defensive win, yeah. How did the timing feel on those, those block chances throughout the night? I mean, I. I think it's, it's on my teammates. They just like finish the D and just let me go there trying to like see if I can get it or not. Yeah. The, Aziz, the lobs were going in the second half better than they have all season. Was there something that you guys were seeing that was leading to that? Or did you guys just kind of wear Brian down to the point where you had open looks? Uh, I feel like everybody really knew like, uh, no like, yeah, that's what I do. and. Uh, and sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. And, and we're just trying to figure out and be on that space. And I feel like it's going great right now, yeah. Do you think this, I don't know if they did this to you last year, but is the strategy a lot of times it just, well, we'll just foul him. Uh, but if you're going to make eight out of 12 from the free throw line, that's maybe not a good strategy. Excuse me, sir, what? The, the strategy for the defense. So uh, when you go up for the lobs and all that, do, do you feel they're just, they're, they're going to hack you, they're going to foul you? Yes, yes, yes. Aziz, talk about the second half adjustments there. Obviously, you had a big second half. You finished with 10 points, 10 rebounds, double-double alone in the second half. What was Brian doing defensively that allowed you to get going there in the second half? Uh, like I said, we just respond, like play more together, like trying to like help each other on the side. And that's what we did for the second half to respond the right way. That's where we ended up winning. CJ, it seems like Wes was really frustrated there at the half. What was his message to you guys in the locker room? You know, like I said before, uh, just responding to the chaotic nature of the game. Like I said, in the first half, you know, we kind of had bad body language on turnovers and just fell into their trap of making the game ugly. So, um, you know, that was a big emphasis going into the game is just responding the right way. Um, and I think in the first half, we weren't, we weren't responding to the way he would like. Was there an emphasis at all in getting to the rim? You guys shot 37 free throws tonight. Yeah, um, you know, we knew in, in their defense and their ball screen coverage, we could get, or Day Day or whoever could get in the paint. And it was just about, you know, attacking, going through their chest or, you know, seeing if the big comes up, the lob will be there. So it was just making the right reads and um, attacking, like you said, and got a lot of free throws out of it. When you see a team dropping back on offensive rebounds and really not sending anybody to the glass, eyes get big that you can put up a 17 rebound day? Yeah, yeah. Like I say, uh, I'm just trying to like get as much as possible I can. Since like we get like a lot of backup, like a big old Sage and big like coming in. So like I'm gonna try to get every, everything I can. So like as soon as I can, like I'm tired of stuff like that. They're just going to get the next guy, and we're going to do the same thing every time. CJ, you haven't made a field goal outside of fifth third in the game this season. How do you carry over this spark you got tonight and, and launch that into the Heritage Bank showdown on Saturday? Like I said, I just go in every single game with the same mindset, same preparation. So just continue to do what I do. Aziz, there's a, a hearing tomorrow and the possibility that Jamil could maybe be eligible if this restraining order is, is made. Um, 
do you have anything to say about Jamil and and um, just your your thoughts on that whole process? Because you were in the same predicament. Yeah, yeah. I feel like he just like he 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 been walking, and I feel like he gotta keep doing it. Just like keep believing he's gonna be there, and uh, and I feel like it's really hard for him. Like I know, like I've been there, and like we just support, give him our full support to be there, like when the time comes, so like he can he can ready to go. For both of you, will he help this team right away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like he's gonna help a lot since like he's he's a great post move and like and if he come back, we're gonna have like much power to like go to the offensive board and like running on the floor and yeah. Any more questions, guys? Last one. CJ, did it feel like you wore them down towards the end of the second half? I know they a little bit of a short bench, but did it feel like they kind of ran out of gas? Yeah. Um... You know, the first half we missed a lot of layups, open shots, um, and we did get a lot of offensive rebounds in the first half. Um, and in the second half, you know, we were continuing to run. The lob was opening up. Uh, we were making the right reads. We were knocking down shots, you know, making those easy layups, converting on lobs, making free throws. Um, so just executing to a, a higher, um, <coughs> just a higher, higher percentage in the second half. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Thanks, nice.